Maine is a state in the northeastern United States. It is located in the northeastern part of the United States, not only in New England. The spelling is Maine, which differs from the confusing adjective Maine, which means mon and important, in that it has an additional e. The place name is known to come from Maine, the name of the old province centered on the Le Mans area of France, but there is also a theory that it originated from Maine. The state capital is Augusta, and the largest city is Portland. Be careful not to get confused with Portland, Oregon's largest city. It is also native to the cat Maine Coon and was named the Maine Animal in 1985. There's a story that the vague images Americans in other parts of Maine have of the countryside, cold, Canadian neighborhoods, lobsters, etc. This is where France and Britain initially confronted each other over jurisdiction. With the victory of the British, it was incorporated into the Massachusetts colony as a jurisdiction. And as the United States gained independence from British colonial rule, it naturally became the territory of Massachusetts. Therefore, it was a part of the 13 independent states. However, because New Hampshire was separate, it was blocked by New Hampshire's territory and completely separated from the mainland area of Massachusetts. Due to the Massachusetts authorities' cold treatment, residents in the area were strongly demanding independence into separate states. Eventually, he gained independence from Massachusetts and joined the United States Federal in 1820, becoming the 23rd state. There was also a political reason for this. In 1818, Missouri for federal membership, but the problem was that Missouri applied for federal membership as a state that allowed slaves when it applied for federal membership. The balance of state and liberalism, which allowed slaves, which was in the balance of 1111, was on the verge of being broken. The states that allowed slavery naturally supported Missouri's accession to the Union, and the free states strongly opposed it, leading to a split between the two Coreas. In response, Henry Clay, a Kentucky congressman, proposed a compromise called, Missouri Compromise. Instead of joining Missouri as a state that allows slaves, it proposed rebalancing northern Massachusetts, which had a high demand for independence, by promoting it as a separate free state. This was accepted and the present state of Maine was born. After independence, there was a border dispute with British North America, and the Webster-Ashburton Treaty of 1842 determined the current boundary. The Atlantic coast has a complex coastline and the inland is mainly hilly and mountainous. Also, more than 80% is made up of forests. It has beautiful natural scenery such as mountains, seas, and lakes, and is quiet due to its small population. Most of the population lives on the southwestern coast, and the north is a dense forested area with few people. Massachusetts, Boston, and New York, located at the bottom of Maine, are the most densely populated large cities in the United States, so many locals visit Maine in search of leisurely scenery. It doesn't have a large population, it doesn't have a large city. 42nd in the United States overall 50 state population rankings. Portland, the largest city, also has a population of only 66,000. It is the largest city in Maine, but it is only in the top 500 in the United States as a whole. When you go to Portland, it's not a very small city, but it's like a small and medium-sized city. It is a relatively peaceful place because there are no large cities on a crime-prone scale. Not only security issues, but even natural disasters are the least frequent places in the United States. Maine is not missing from the list of safest states in the U.S. Forestry developed because of the dense forest. As agricultural products, apples, blueberries, potatoes, and oats are produced. In particular, it is said to be the region that produces the most blueberries in the United States. Fishing used to be quite an important industry because it is along the sea, but now it is on the decline. Currently, many clams and lobsters of mussels are caught in coastal areas. Especially lobster is quite famous. Agricultural products and seafood produced in Maine are popular because of the image of a province with a beautiful natural environment and low pollution. As the proportion of farming and fishing villages is large, there is not so much in the case of manufacturing. Still, the forestry-based pulp and furniture manufacturing industry is active in its own way. In addition, the shipbuilding industry is relatively developed, and it is famous for being a neighborhood that makes a lot of warships. There are many tourists due to its low population density and small and pretty villages influenced by Canada, lobster heaven, and beautiful natural scenery. In particular, Arcadia National Park, located in the southern part of the state, is ranked as the number one national park that Americans want to go back to for its unique natural scenery and coziness. It is also the only state in the U.S. presidential election that has a unique system in which some of the electors are assigned according to the results in each House of Representatives district. It is a place where there are only four electors, so polls are held very late. 
In the case of the 2012 presidential election, the first public opinion poll was held in mid-September 2012, less than two and a half months before the presidential election. It was originally a dominant Republican region, but Clinton led by more than a majority in the 1996 presidential election and has since become a dominant Democratic region. Since the state itself has a small population, it is not well known, but it is one of the states with a fairly progressive tendency even though it has a small population. Because of the famous main writer Stephen King, the state's image is hell for the public. Most of Stephen King's novels are set in Maine, and because of this, there are quite a few people who are not Americans but know the existence of the state of Maine. There is even a saying that, 99% of people who know Maine are people who didn't know it through Stephen King's novel, and no one has ever been there in person. Of course, the content of Stephen King novels is the content, so the image of Maine that those who got to know it through his novels is likely to be negative. However, contrary to what is usually depicted in Stephen King's novels, Maine is one of the safest places in the United States.